castle. But where are you going? You're going off without. Yeah, let's go, come on. But, but, uh, what? are you serious? <laughs> I better just keep going. No holiday in the west of Ireland or indeed in Mayo would be complete without a trip on a bicycle. And for the last couple of hours, I've been in the company of Rachel Nolan from Rachel's Irish Adventures. She runs her own company here in Ballina, hiring out bicycles and doing all sorts of treks with people, uh, mainly tourists, but this year it's staycationers. Uh, you wore me out. I'll tell you one thing, that was a, a, quite a cycle. How many miles did we cycle or kilometres? Uh, we've only just started, Tommy. We've been two hours, we've been rather three yet. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So this morning we started off in uh, Brigown B&B &B with my mum and we had uh, some of her baked scones and coffee. Uh, that got you going, Tommy. Yeah, well, that was Marjorie, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Marjorie. They were delicious. Uh, and then we came up along the River Moy uh, and into Bleak Woods, which we're so lucky to have here at the, just the outskirts of Balna. We came in. I think you enjoyed the fairy trail the most yeah. there. The fairy trail for me was the highlight. <laughs> Definitely. It's beautiful. Then down to Ross Sark Abbey, we had a, a quick picnic there to refuel and we're just back here in one of the highlights of the trip really at Bleak Castle. So have you heard of Jack Finn's? I've heard of Jack Finn's Cafe. Is it a cafe? It's a cafe, yeah. So we're heading up there now to have some, um, I'm hoping some homemade treats are still left for us uh, and a tea and hopefully we'll get to meet uh, Paul, the master of the castle, Ooh. who's a bit crazy. Uh, so I think he's going to meet us in there. All right, so let's see if we can find uh, Paul in Balik Castle. But where are you going? You're going off without... Yeah, let's go, come on. But, but, uh, what? are you serious? <laughs> I better just keep going. Just get it into gear and we're off. Well, thanks to Rachel for that lovely uh, spin around Ballina on the bicycles. And as she mentioned, Jack Fenn's uh, beautiful cafe here in Bleak Castle. And the owner of the castle, the mad owner of the castle, is Paul Duran. Paul, uh, crazy. It, you, crazy. It's going well here. There's a buzz. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. It's gone from a standing start where we were completely empty uh, four or five weeks ago to where everybody's running as fast as they can to keep everybody happy. The Irish are staycationing and they're coming to this side of the country. And of course, you know, a bit like some other of the, uh, the renowned castles of Ireland, you know, a lot of people once upon a time felt that this was only for the elite. But owners like you are opening it up to everybody. Absolutely not. This is for the elite. <laughs> <laughs> the elite Irish. Uh, uh, we, yeah, it's good. We've got a, um, a product here, which is a cafe in the courtyard, okay, well, which makes it special from the castle. In the castle, we kind of do fine dine and people feel a little intimidated coming in. Here, they turn up in their little hot pants and their shorts and their jeans, and it's a real casual uh, thing, and uh, there's a great atmosphere. And I have the fine dine chefs from my castle cooking here, all six of them, and the restaurant inside is closed for the moment, and we're getting great food coming out of here. It's just the atmosphere of it. I mean, it's so, it lends itself so much to what you're doing. Thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. A typical, classical country, uh, country house, courtyard, stables. These were the coach houses. Uh, we ripped them out about five years ago and put them back with plenty of character. Uh, and if you have a look in my little barn over here, you see the last time that place was decorated was 200 years ago. Okay? Yeah. Listen to me, if there's any of our listeners looking for a little staycation in a castle between now and the end of the summer, I'd recommend Balik Castle. Can they stay? Uh, Absolutely. We're running a kind of a little sanctuary at the moment, so only the residents are allowed in the castle. Um, here the ca cafe is wide open to everybody, uh, but you have to book in to stay with us. We're doing bed and breakfast only and serving our food here in the, in the, uh, with the same chefs outside and in, inside. So yeah, we are available. Look us up, Balik Castle. Dot com, okay, and we'd appreciate if you book directly with us. Uh, that's pretty good. Two two four hundred oh nine six two two four hundred. If you want the number, thank you, Tommy. And listen, it's good to talk to you. And uh, at least Rachel was right about one thing. I am he mad. is mad. Yeah.